Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm talking supplies and materials with you. I've been asked to create a video to show you what my regular supplies and materials are that I use. So I thought I'd go through everything with you today. I get asked this question so often about what I'm using, um, my where my um, double-sided sticky tape gun is from, uh, what kind of printers I use. I get asked those questions all the time. So I'm gonna run through everything with you today. I've been properly crafting now since about 2003 and I have a really, really good collection. I started off as a card maker and quickly went into scrapbooking and, make, and like mini book making. So I've got a really good collection of materials. Um, one of my oldest pieces of equipment although this has been replaced is my A4 trimmer. I first bought this A4 trimmer. Um, it's an Avery one. I bought it I think in Staples or somewhere like that. It was £20 and it was amazing. I had a wedding stationery business before so it got used all the time every single day. I did have to replace it probably about I don't know maybe five years ago something like that so it had done really well from about 2003 and I bought the same one it's just a different color that came out and again I love it I use it all the time um, I've bought other ones since I've bought like making memories ones like proper 12 by 12 for scrapbooking I've bought other brands when I've needed like multiple ones when I had the wedding stationery business I had other people working for me so they could use them. None of them cut like this. This is the best. I will link it up below for you, but it's really good and I do use the lines. You can see it's very well used. <laughs> I do use the lines to help me keep straight. As a lot of my equipment is really, really old, it is a little bit bashed and grubby looking. This again, this ATG gun, I probably bought about 15 years ago. Um, again, I used it um, for when I was making my wedding stationery. So again, it got used all the time. I've only had the one gun. I haven't bought any other replacements and I just buy the tape. I buy the, I think it's 48 meters and 12 mil thick. It's really become expensive. I think it's about 30 pounds for six rolls now. Um, really, really become expensive. But I use this for work and I use it for my scrapbooking all the time. And again, everything that I have here, if it's still for sale, I will link it up below. My only regret is that this is now available in pink. I would love a pink one, but as you know, if you watch my videos, I'm quite tight and I hate buying things for the sake of buying. Um, although Primark does get me over on that sometimes but I can't buy a pink one when I've got a perfectly good working yellow one another piece of equipment that I use all the time I think it's called a big bite it's um, oh a crocodile too that's what it's called um, there was a few in the series um, in the range they are from we are memory keepers and again I use this for my wedding stationery all the time um, like for anything that had holes in and I used to poke all the ribbons through on the invitations and things like that so it's been very very well used I did actually buy it at a crop once in Farnborough and again probably about 15 years ago absolutely love it I've never needed to replace it um, it's got two settings it's got the thick and the thin and it also sets eyelets which you don't really hear of people doing anymore but that was a really trendy thing to do in scrapbooking many many years ago but I love it I also love the fact that it's really wide so you know with like hole punches you often you're very restricted with how far in you can go this one it's perfect and again I really really recommend this I will go on to printers now. I've got a little sprocket. I love this thing. Um, I know the quality isn't amazing, but I really like it for quick scrapbooking. Um, I will link up the review about this when I received it. I do use it a lot. I really, really like it. It's so simple. It works with an app on your phone and um, it actually has the paper inside. You do not need ink cartridges. The ink is within the paper. So it's quick and fast. I have even taken it on holiday with me before and used then. And you just buy little packs of paper. I buy them in packs like that. They come in tens and I buy, like there's a pack of 50. And it's very quick and easy. A sweet subscriber of mine sent me a couple of Disney pouches and I use one of them to home everything so it's always kept together and then it's easy when you're out and about but I love this little mini printer I'll take you and show you my main printer 
right i have two here they do need a bit of a dust i don't like this one i cannot get on with this one but my husband uses this all the time but it's got a copier and everything with it um the kids also use this one when they print but that's just like a three-in-one type epsom thing this one is my favorite one i use this one all the time i print my photos on it um absolutely everything and epsom um and then you can see the mate uh the number there and they both use the same epsom ink cartridges as well and that just reminded me to order some more ink cartridges so i've just done that another item that you will see me using all the time is my long reach stapler love this thing i use it um when i'm scrapbooking i use it when i'm making mini books sometimes just to like adding like little cute page accents but also actually creating mini books it's really good it's really long and obviously because you can slide it all the way through it's brilliant on 12 by 12s and longer projects really really fab it's not expensive and the other thing i love doing replacing the staples with colored staples they make really really cute little page embellishments I wanted to give a shout out to my favorite craft punches. I know they're not really the in thing anymore. Everyone uses the big fancy die cutters, but I still love craft punches. They're really quick and easy to use. There's no thinking. You've got them all to hand. You grab them, you use them. My favorite ones are the EK Success. They have a little button on the back so that they can stack and you can keep them nice and tidy. And then you release the button and that makes them workable. I've got loads of different borders, I've got larger punches, um, I've got smaller punches. The EK Success I think are the best ones, they do not stick, they're really really easy to use and these have lasted me absolutely years. Pens. We all talk about pens, we all love stationery. I have got so many pens but my favourite pens to use are the Uniball pens. I've got them in all different colours, they're available everywhere, all over the world. I tend to buy mine on Amazon in big packs because they work out a bit better for value um, and I use the black ones for journaling all the time. They write so clean. They are smudgeable so you have to go careful when you're writing with them but I've been using them for years and they are my absolute favourite pen to write with. Next up are paints. I've got my favourite sets of paints here. I will start off, this was a really cheap set that I bought on Amazon. The thing is with Amazon, you can link them up but the prices vary. So I bought them at a really good price, I think they're about £15 but I know I've looked since when people have wanted, have asked about them and they've become a bit more expensive. It's a Japanese set I believe, they feel really quite thick, really really love them. The only problem is you don't have the pinks, you have to mix and all that and I'm a bit lazy and I like to have things ready made for me but this is a very very lovely set and it comes in that nice box there my other favorites i love these these meaden watercolors again they're not expensive at all if you're looking for high end these really aren't those but for everyday use they are fantastic you've got a really nice color range there and i made myself a little swatch so that i could see the colors love these for an inexpensive set you can't go wrong my sweet friend Danielle, who's on my team, bought me this set, or made up this set for me, and these are Danielle Smith, and these are amazing. You can really, really see the quality difference. She popped them in this little tin. I absolutely love them. There's some sparkly ones in there as well. This is like my luxury set. I love this so much. The colors are so deep, and just they are beautiful to use. You do notice the difference in good quality. With regards to acrylic paints, when it comes to scrapbooking, I have two different brands that are my favorites. I've got the Dilusions, I love these. Really, really thick. I did have an issue once though that I'd left them for a while and they did completely dry out to nothing. They must have been left for quite some time to do that. But um, these are newer ones and these are fab. What I love about them, you can take off the lids and it's a nice wide space to pop in your old credit card and smear across your page. That's my favorite way to apply these acrylic paints. And then the other two, I love these Kaiser colors. They're really cheap. They're not expensive at all. Saying that, these are only $5.99 a pot. Anyway, I'll leave the link below. I sell them on my website. These are really good, but you do have to like squirt them out to use them. 
but um, price wise they're brilliant beautiful colors they're just a bit more thinner than these ones these ones feel more luxury now when it comes to scrapbooking I use 12 by 12 albums which I will show you in a moment and I also use travelers notebooks my favorite ones are from simple stories again I will link these up below this one is one that's almost completed these are the notebook holders or like the covers so they hold your notebooks inside ready for you to scrapbook in I've been asked about doing a flip through on some of these so let me know if that interests you and I can do that I've, I've never actually finished one I just always keep them going but these are the actual notebooks that you can buy separately the reason I love the simple stories so much they're just that little bit bigger I'll actually show you another one just so you can compare and this is the simple stories cover and then I've got the um, I've got some notebooks here from Little Rainbow Moon. They're beautiful, but as you can see, they're just that little bit smaller. And the simple stories there are just that little bit wider, giving you a little bit more space to play with, which is why I love them so much. But um, I find that most of the other brands as well are all the same size as the smaller size, just that little bit smaller. When it comes to scrapbooking, these are my favourite albums. I've never actually done anything with the middle bit. Um, they are Linen Covered, American Crafts, D-Ring, which means they are rings. So you can just pop your pages in and just reorder them. It's so easy. I love these albums so much. They look lovely on my shelf. They come in all different colours and they're really, really easy to file away all your scrapbook pages. And as you can see there, I've got lots and lots of different ones and they just all look nice and tidy. I do need to redate them though. It's been on my list to do for ages. By the way, if you're interested in a studio tour, I did do a video on that just earlier on in the year. So I will link that up below for you so you can have a little look at the space that I work in. Now, the final thing is my camera, which I'm using right now, and that's a Canon G7X Mark II. It's the typical vlogger's camera. I've had this one now since 2016, and I can remember that because I have the previous, I've had the two previous um, Canon cameras, the power shots and um, I've used them till they've died except for the last one actually I still have that one and I left it on a plane which is how I came to buy this one I wasn't sure if I would get it back and we started looking then at cameras and I'd been interested in vlogging I bought this one and I did get the other camera back as well so I do still have the previous model as well but like I said I've been I think I started in 2010 I bought my first Canon power shot and I love them, love them so much. So this one then with these sort of like movable, um, with the movable bit so you can see yourself when you're filming, it's perfect. And I would really, really recommend this camera for anyone who's vlogging or wants to take nice photos. And the thing, the reason that I chose to buy them in the first place back in 2010 is that it's a decent camera. And for us, as we love going on Disney holidays, it's small enough to pop in your pocket as well. It's not a huge, heavy camera. But I think that's it. If I have forgotten anything or there's anything else that you would like to learn about or know what I use, please do ask me. Let me know what kind of things you use and how you find that they work for you. It's always nice to know and see other things. Um, you get kind of like stuck in your ways sometimes, don't you? But let me know what you're using and um, let me know if you have any questions thank you very much for watching please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video if you found it helpful and please do share it as well with anyone else that you think might might find it useful um, coming up this week let's see what have we got we have a creative video on Tuesday and on Thursday I'm doing a little shop with some baking and on Friday evening at 6 p.m. it's our next day in San Francisco on our trip videos. I really hope you're enjoying these. Please let me know what your favourite type of videos are right now and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.